So last spring, the battery went flat. I thought nothing of it. Um, but then, we've got airbag failure lights coming on. Uh, the phone's making it flash. It doesn't actually flash. I've got, a, I've got an airbag light. I've got a seatbelt warning light on. Googled it, and apparently if your motorhome battery goes flat, um, then this can happen. And the ECU is at fault. The um, airbag ECU. So that'll need um, fixing, basically. So we're going to get the mat out. And under there is my battery, and we'll get started. Right, now I'm going to lock the back doors. Uh, I need to get those doors locked because later on I'm going to be disconnecting the battery and I'll not be able to get into the, uh, the back if I don't lock them now. So, lift up the cover of the battery and we'll take off the earth, which I just did. So this earth must be disconnected straight away. It's very, very important that you take off the earth. Um, this is the little bugger that we need to get changed. So I'll show you how to get at that. There's basically uh, screws on all the models are in there. Mine came off with the Torx. So basically that just flips out and exposes the ECU. As you can see, it's quite dirty and uh, possibly some water's got in here. So I'm hoping there hasn't been any corrosion. Um, it's three three nuts. I've got those two out. This one's this one. The third one's to come out, and then we disconnect these. The three nuts are out. I've lifted it out out of there, and finally, to get these connectors out, you push down. Those flip around, and these pull off. Like so. So we'll get both of those off, and um, we'll have a look what we can do with the ECU. Basically, we're going to have to send it off. Um, I found somewhere on eBay that will fix it for £55, so that's getting sent in the post. And let's hope for the best. So your back doors are locked with a key. The driver's door you can lock. To get this locked, you put something in there, a little screwdriver in there. I'm just using the thing that I used, the Torx that I used to get me panel off. Flip up, and you'll find, close the door. That's locked your door. Obviously, the driver's door, you just lock with your key. So let's get this off to Northern Auto Tech. See what we can do with it. Bad news. Got a, a message from Carl at Northern Auto Tech saying that he couldn't repair it. So he's had to send it back. Got some free Haribo, but uh, it's a shame I didn't get a partial refund because, as discussed, it's beyond repair. Well, we'll have to look for a new one. He's recommended Coastal Motorhomes and my son who deals, uh, he makes camper vans Northern Conversions. Hashtag at Northern Conversions also recommends them. So two days later, I've got my new ECU. I am uh, £269 out of pocket, but that's the way it goes. Unfortunately, it's not a matter of just plugging it in. I also need to proxy alignment. Um, I've asked my son if he can do it, he hasn't got the software, um, the garage that I would usually go to is on holiday, or the guy who does it is, um, I'm a bit stuck, so I've, I've googled around and what we're going to do is um, get some software and do it yourself. So the new one's back in place, uh, my 10mm spanner, the cable connectors are on, I'm going to put my earth back on. Now, it, I say it, it's not going to work until I get this proxy alignment done. Um, I've got uh, multi-ECU scan software. Software's 50 quid, but all the interfaces, uh, you know, it's not just one interface. You've got a whole batch of them. Um, it's 130 quid for the lot. But the thing is, the reason I bought it is on there, set to 100 kilometers an hour. I, I can only go 61, sorry, uh, 61 miles an hour. Um, with this um, software, I'll be able to change that. Before I decided to purchase this software, I made sure that my uh, laptop would run it. Now, this laptop I haven't used for a few years. It has seen better days, but it still works. It runs the software. And uh, my reckoning is once I've got this software downloaded, I'll be able to subcontract my services to my son at Northern Conversions. Well, we'll see. Next video, we'll uh, try the proxy alignment, and I'm also going to see if I can get the speed limiter up.